You know, the people look around and decide, is this where I want to live and work? And this, this is where I can see my family growing and prospering. So it is paramount that we look to ensure that our cities and towns are the best they can be. We talk about the arts and our culture and our heritage in terms of quality of life often. People, I think, sometimes use that as a crutch because it gives them the opportunity even to step away from that at times when the economy is not the best, when decisions have to be made about how we spend our resources. So one of the things that we did in 2009 was to collaborate with our Department of Commerce to produce the first ever economic impact study on the arts and culture in North Carolina. It represents over 5.5% of our total employment in North Carolina. So you can get a sense that, wow, you look at it as an industry, as jobs, as economic impact, and you can see that as an industry itself, it is extremely impacted. And then when you think about the collateral benefit of a strong arts and culture community, and you realize just how powerful and important it is, and that message has really served us well, particularly over the past two years, as we talk about the bottom line of what our arts and culture means to our states, to our businesses, and to our communities. I can tell you that over the last two years, probably one of the most frequent things that I've heard is we've met and talked with legislators, many of whom were new in Raleigh. Uh, my my uh, chief deputy secretary, Melanie, is back there somewhere, and uh, she and I are doing that work with our legislators. And one of the frequent messages we've been given is, you know, I really don't love the arms. I'm sorry. And I'm not sure if it was stupidity or brilliance. You can choose. But in the middle of one of those meetings where, again, some, one of the legislators said to me, you know, I just don't love the arts. And I looked at him and said, I don't care. <laughs> what I do care about, and this is the message, what I do care about is that you value the arts. Value the arts. You don't have to love the symphony. You don't have to enjoy art. You don't have to go to the theater regularly to know what people up here know from a business perspective, from a leadership perspective, and that is that our arts and culture is paramount at telling our story, at making our communities the best they can possibly be.